RX-7's always been one of my favorite cars. And I decided, you know what, I want to learn how to make this thing brand new from start to finish. Started stripping them apart, putting them together, and decided to put my skill set to use. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. So, yeah, pretty much what we do here is um, we're an engineering shop. Uh, I'm a tool maker. We manufacture engineering components, molds, machinery parts. Um, I've always had a passion for motorsport and decided to put my skill set to use. Geez, man, as a kid, always been into anything with four wheels. And as I grew up, I realized, hey, I'm actually quite good at putting these things together and taking them apart. RX-7's always been one of my favorite cars. Um, and I decided, you know what, I want to learn how to make this thing brand new from start to finish. Started stripping them apart, putting them together, and decided, yeah, I can actually work on these engines where there's a, a fairly bad stigmatism attached to a, a rotary. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one thing. It's always maintenance. If you don't do your maintenance, it's going to blow, like you said, bad stigma. Yeah. So are you one of those guys that stand by your car? Or are you one of them that race your car? <laughs> Nah, I'm one of those guys that prefers to build a car than actually drive it, funny enough. Quite sad to say, but um, yeah, I really take pride in, in putting the whole project together, making the parts. And um, yeah, that's that's what I enjoy. So in terms of what you can do for the community, the car community, especially in, in Durban, I mean, you can service the entire South Africa, obviously. Now we've got couriers, everything's pretty efficient yeah. these days. The whole performance part scene with billet components and aluminium lightweight parts and high performance things is kind of blowing up. And here in South Africa, it's a bit hard for us to get our hands on these, these kind of things with the exchange rate and shipping and a lot of the stuff is, is produced either in the States or the UK or anywhere else really. Australia's got a huge, uh, huge reputation when it comes to rotaries, but it's really expensive to get stuff here. Here at Rustec, we can manufacture just about any performance part that you need. Make it completely custom, uh, aluminium, steel, the works. What we focus on here and where we kind of really kicked off was starting to manufacture these performance bullet intakes. So we started on a, on a 2J build, we've gone on to four cylinders, and we, we saw a huge increase in performance and um, really just able to tune motors at a lower boost, creating the same amount of horsepower, which is a lot less stress in components. This obviously goes across the range. We do anything from angle kits to refurbishing of rotary engines. And I've sort of divulged, I'd say, towards rotaries. Um, it's not a huge market. There's not much support for it here locally. And um, as you know, parts are becoming more and more scarce to get. So we gotta look after them. And here at Rustec, we refurbish them, heat treat components, do porting, anything of the sort. Uh, we've got a good partnership with, with some other companies in the local area, auto, etc. cetera. Um, we partner up with one of the best tuners in South Africa, Candy Garden. So this little corner here is, is mostly rotary stuff. As you guys can see, I mean, we've got RX-7 bumpers, left right and center we've got something very interesting here that we're going to touch on in in a minute but uh russ i mean these are these personal items or these little spares what tell me a little bit about this stuff well man this is more like connection uh collection nelson um i mean what do we got here we got a we got a three rotor going <laughs> all right so yeah a few people know already i'm going to be doing a three a three rotor build in the next fd um, we had quite a bit of success on the, the 13B. It's pushing out just over 500 horsepower on the wheels. Moderate one bar boost, um, normal pump gas, 95. That, so, that's the same one that uh, some of my subscribers have seen in the previous video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's, that's like a... And are you ripping and replacing the motor? No, we're not. So, um, 
we've, we've actually got two FDs here. Guessing it's going in that bad boy down there. And that's it. What's going to happen with the other FD? Yeah, so like I said, my favorite car, I can't just have one. So second one is going to be a, a three rotor build. We are actually going to try and get some serious figures out of this. We, we want to try and get a thousand horsepower uh, and keep it as a street car. We don't want to go flat out race. And um, yeah, let's just see, see what this thing does. So, so this is, it's not built. This is from a UNS Cosmo, is that right? Correct. So this motor was imported from Dubai. Um, it was found in some lonely corner. And like I said, we're going to bring it back to life. Uh, this is going to get dialed, ported, uh, resurfaced, heat treated, everything you can think of. It's going to be running on a Haltech Platinum 2000, uh, race pack dash, the works. And, and obviously everything will be done in-house by yourself. Correct. Well, like by I said, the heat treatment? So the heat treatment we outsource. Um, like I said, a lot of the R&D has been done by Calais. Uh, tuning will be done by Candy. And yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do on my end and put this thing together. And yeah, do all the engineering work, the doweling, porting, all that jazz. So what's the what's the ETA on this? We're looking at next week. I wish it was that easy, <laughs> Nelson. But um, yeah, this actually takes a lot of time and effort. You got to find good parts. Um, it's it's really easy for some guys who just go to the dealership and pick up new housings. And um, yeah, we're not really in that position, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make the best that we can out of this. And then I heard um, down the grapevine that you're maybe considering a four rotor build in the near future. Yeah, so we've actually started some R&D on that. Um, we're gonna be importing a shaft from Australia. And um, then when it comes to all the carrier bearings and the center irons, etc., that'll all be done in-house. We'll manufacture our own intake for it and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, definitely a four rotor after this. Where will you put it? <laughs> so, you're gonna have to buy another FD then. No, we're gonna put a, a Series 6 13B turbo into an RX8. That'll be Rustex 13B build. Um, the current 13B that is in our running FD, that almost probably gets replaced with the 4 rotor, and the one on the lift right now will have the 20B. Cool, let's, let's take a quick walk around if you don't mind. Let's, uh, let's show the cars. Okay, let's talk about these cars quick, Russ. Let's start on, someone's going to flame me on the internet, let's start at the worst, RX, RX-8. This is recent. Yeah, so we actually just picked this up a few weeks ago, um, restoring paintwork at the moment. And I'm going to put a 13B turbo in it. You bought it like this with no engine? Yeah, it made sense for me to buy a non-runner and then just get a rotary and turbocharger and put it back in. I hear you. Uh, that Lexus out there is my first uh, normally aspirated car. Luckily it's a daily, but it's, it's still there. So yeah, this thing's cool. Yeah, quite a clean chassis. Uh, keen to get it going on the road. Nice. And then this boy, this is the one that you're going to be throwing the three road on. Yeah. So this car also, another fairly clean. Uh, we stripped out the engine bay and got it sprayed. Uh, now it's slowly getting back to putting all the parts back together on the front end of it. And um, yeah, fitting in the 20B, sorting out the subframe, uh, getting the suspension geometry to work with the bigger motor. So this is this is a late 93, 94 model, is that right? Yeah, that's that's right. Oh, dig it! I love the wide wheels on this thing. 18s, 9.5 Js. Yeah, RE30s. Gosh, these things are sick. And then you've obviously got a running one that everybody's seen. Can we take a quick look? Yeah, sure. Yeah, man, had this car for about going on eight years now. Definitely wasn't like this when I got it, but it does the job. Is that Drew's car? <laughs> yeah, it is, man. So you pulled the motor out already? <laughs> well, there's uh, certain things I can tell you and show you, and there's certain things I can't. Okay, so it's gone, gearbox is gone. <laughs> Yeah, and we're going to be throwing in a 2J, we'll leave it at that. Alright Russ, thank you so much for having Gareth and myself out, really appreciate it. Is there anything that you want to tell the viewers before we go? Well yeah, sure. If you've got any questions pertaining to rotaries or you got some trouble and you want to give us a try, get hold of me, russell at rustech.co.za or hit me up on, on Instagram, rustech, race engineering.